Did you know that humans and chimpanzees share almost 98% of the same DNA? That means chimps are more like us than, you say, some of the men I've dated. Little did folks in Oak Park, Illinois know when Betty White moved to Los Angeles at the ripe old age of two that she would become the legendary actress and animal welfare advocate that we honor tonight. Betty began her career in radio and had her first big break on a local live TV show. Betty later formed her own production company and helped create Life with Elizabeth, for which she received her first Emmy, as well as the sitcom A Date with the Angels. Betty's first appearance on the Mary Tyler Moore Show led her to become a recurring cast member and a household name. Her portrayal of Sue Ann Nivens, the happy homemaker, brought two more Emmys. Nominated seven times for Best Actress in a Comedy Series for the Golden Girls, she won the Emmy the first season in 1985. No stranger to the big screen, just this year, Betty had audiences in stitches playing Grandma Annie in The Proposal. Daytime television viewers have also come to know Betty on The Bold and the Beautiful. She's recently appeared on the hit show Boston Legal. Betty's comedic timing led her to become a recurring regular on shows hosted by legends like Jack Parr and Johnny Carson, not to mention her dear friend, Craig Ferguson. Have you oh. bought me a little present? Oh, oh no, Craig, I, I only get presents from my friends. <laughs> While Betty's accolades include induction into the Television Hall of Fame, tonight we honor her achievements in a different arena. A lifetime animal lover, Betty has worked diligently as a champion for all pets and has spent her life advocating on behalf of animals. She is the President Emeritus of Morris Animal Foundation and has been a trustee since 1971. She has served on the board of the Greater Los Angeles Zoo Association since 1974 and as a zoo commissioner for eight years. She has received the American Veterinary Medical Association's Humane Award, an honorary degree from Western University Veterinary School, and in February 2006 was named Ambassador to the Animals by the City of Los Angeles. Betty's animal advocacy has permeated her career. In the 70s, she was the force behind the TV animal series, The Pet Set. She also authored a book entitled Betty White's Pet Love. Betty is a dedicated supporter of the Jane Goodall Institute. Earlier this year, she appeared in a televised campaign calling for an end to the commercial hunting of chimpanzees. Chimpanzees desperately need your help to survive. They can't ask you for it, but I can. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our distinct privilege to honor Betty White this evening with the Jane Goodall Global Leadership Award for Lifetime Achievement.